Hey everybody, today is a very special day. Every day is a special day, but today is extra awesome because we are gonna be making pretzel dogs, okay? It's Super Bowl Sunday, it just so happens to be a day that pretzel dogs are one of the favorite fan foods that everybody loves to eat. So we're gonna take these guys, roast them up a little bit, make some soft pretzels, wrap them, it's gonna be fantastic. And it's super easy, you can do this in no time. So I'm gonna start with a cup and a half of warm water, and this is about 115 degrees. I'm just gonna pour it right into the bowl. With two teaspoons of active yeast. Sprinkle that in there too. I'm gonna to add two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this up. Let the sugar and the yeast dissolve into the water and get really, really super foamy and super happy. All right. So to this, I'm also going to add four cups of flour. Just dump it right in there. Perfect. And I'm gonna add two generous pinches of salt. There we go. Okay, now we're just gonna stir it up until it all comes together. So this is a great soft pretzel recipe. It's super, super easy, and it really doesn't take very long to make it all. We're just gonna go ahead and kind of spice it up and change it a little bit to make it a game day favorite. I mean, who doesn't love a pretzel wrapped hot dog? All right, so it's starting to come together, and the spoon is great, but I have to get dirty. I have to get in it with my hands. So I'm just gonna keep kneading it and mixing it until it all comes together. All right, had enough of this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the counter to make sure that it's all really super well mixed up and the dough is smooth and elastic. Okay, the dough is all mixed up and we have this really pretty spongy dough, just like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set it in the bowl, cover it up and let it rise for about half an hour. So this guy's going over here covered up. Okay, so in the meantime, we're going to roast our hot dogs, and I'm going to take a sheet of aluminum foil, just like that, open up my hot dogs. Perfect. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, I have seven hot dogs here. I'm only going to make six, I think, today. Save that one for later. All right, so in order to spice these guys up and make them just extra special, I'm gonna put a generous pinch of my gunpowder seasoning all over these guys. There, and just kind of roll them around a little bit so that way they get really coated. There. This makes them a little extra special. Well, not a little extra special, this makes them really a lot extra special. There we go, okay. All right, these are gonna go into a 450 degree oven for roughly about eight to 10 minutes until they start to puff and maybe burst a little bit too, then I know they're done. We're gonna let these roast while the dough rises. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, it's been 30 minutes. Our dough has risen really beautifully. Look at that, it's so soft and smooth and pillowy, which is perfect. The hot dogs are out of the oven and in the microwave here, I have two cups of water that's warming up because I made this really warm for a special trick that's going to give our pretzel dogs it's really cool coating that that nostalgic pretzel coating that we're always looking for so what's happening now is I'm going to turn the dough out onto my counter and I'm going to divide it up into like little ropes so I'm just going to roll it out a little bit flatten it some and I want to try and get equal pieces as equal as I possibly can so I'm going to cut it in half this way and maybe this way and again right here okay and this is going to give me six pieces for my pretzels and I'm going to rip them apart just like this all right separate them out Here we go. That one there. 
and another one, and the last two. Okay. And just pull it apart just like that. All right, so I'm gonna take one ball of dough and I'm going to roll it out into a rope, into a really long rope. Kind of like when you're kids and you're playing with Play-Doh and you're trying to make a Play-Doh snake. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Perfect. So it's gonna be long and thin because we're gonna wrap this around the hot dogs. Perfect, just like that. And you can just kind of pick it up and use it as a jump rope. <laughs> just play with it a little bit. All right, that looks like it'll work. And what I'll do is take my hot dogs, I'm going to make some with cheese and some without cheese. And the first one I'm going to make is not going to have any cheese on it. So I'm just going to take it and start at one end and start rolling it up in a spiral, kind of tightly. See if I can like just kind of enclose the entire hot dog in the pretzel. There we go. And as I roll it, I just kind of push the dough up the side so that way the whole thing is covered. Perfect, just like that. Okay. And I have just a little extra piece of dough, it's no big deal, I can pinch that off and put that away. So there's one pretzel dog right there, and I'm gonna make one with cheese. So I'm gonna take another piece of dough and roll it out into my long snake, once again. And you can use whatever kind of cheese that you want to use. I'm going to use sliced American cheese simply because it's, I mean, it's easy, it's classic, and it's really, really super simple to work with. There we go. All right. So I've got my long piece out. Get a slice of cheese. I'm going to open this guy up. And the cheese gets really melted on the inside with the hot dog. So to take this square of cheese, I'm just gonna roll it into thirds like this and just smash it and it breaks really easily. So I take my hot dog here and I set it down on one side of the pretzel and I take one piece of cheese and just kind of lay it down and I just start stacking them. There you go. This guy's gonna be really super cheesy. There we go. All right, so you just hold the cheese together as you bring the dough over it and just roll it like we did before. See? You just have to hold the cheese together. And somebody heard the word cheese and heard the wrapper. It's not for you. Not this time, buddy. See? And we just keep rolling and rolling. See how easy this is? There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I think I got room for one more little roll, just like that. And I'm gonna pinch off that piece as well. And here you go. This one's got cheese, so we have another pretzel dog and I have a little piece of cheese sticking out so that way we don't have to like cut them open and see which one's which. So this is perfect, this is awesome. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do two more with cheese and two more without cheese, and then we're going to dip them in our special water bath. All right, here we go. To finish these up. Okay, <laughs> so I'm rolling up my last pretzel dog right here with cheese. And I have my little helper right there. Just in, just in case I drop anything, right buddy? Right, yeah. No, Mama's, I'm not dropping anything for you, not right now. You already had your snack. So this is really simple. Again, just rolling up a little bit slowly, but encasing the entire hot dog and cheese inside this amazing, wonderful, homemade soft pretzel dough. Okay. So just a word of warning, all of your friends are gonna go nuts for this. Your family's gonna love it, and this is gonna be something that's kind of gonna be required or requested of you, not just on game days or on weekends, but don't be surprised if you're approached by a family member or even one of your kids saying, hey, can you make this for me for lunch? All right, so again, a little piece of cheese out the top here, the rest of it's enclosed so I know which one's which. I have all this extra pretzel dough that I can actually go ahead and just like make something with it, and I'll go ahead and make just a pretzel really quickly to show you 
how fast and easy that is. So you just roll it out like you normally would to wrap up the pretzel dog. Just roll it out. And the longer it is, the bigger the pretzel will be, but either way, it doesn't matter. So from here, you just twist it and press it. And there you go. There's a nice cute little pretzel, right? It's cute, super cute. So I'm going to show you how you get that lovely golden pretzel color, that crispy outside, you know, the part that we're looking for that always crackles as soon as you bite into it. And that's by taking two cups of warm water, and I mean really warm water, and I'm pouring it into this pie plate, and I'm also going to put two tablespoons of baking soda into the water. So it's a baking soda water bath is what we're going to use to give us that special coating. So you have to mix it up, stir it up really, really well, because you want the baking soda to dissolve as much as it possibly can into the water. So I have my tray right here on standby. Perfect. Okay. So with one hand, I'm going to continue stirring to make sure that the baking soda doesn't settle. With my other hand, I'm going to take one of my pretzel dogs and simply dip it and roll it into the bath and set it on my cooking, my uh, cookie sheet there. From here, just like that. And these guys are going to bake up in the oven at 450 degrees for about 10 minutes until they're golden brown. They don't need a hard soak, just a nice little dip. And that's some baking soda settling right there, but that's okay. Perfect. Right there. I'm going to move these guys over and make room for the last one to join the party. There's always like one straggler, right? The last one to join the party. That's usually me, but it's normally because I make food like this to bring to the party. So you don't hear too many complaints. All right. So that's done. These are going to go into the oven right now. There we go. Okay, setting the timer for 10 minutes. Okay, so again, our pretzel dough was flour, yeast, brown sugar, warm water, a little bit of salt. We mixed it all up. We have our hot dogs that we uh, roasted in the oven at 450 for about 10 to 12 minutes with a little bit of gunpowder seasoning. Wrapped them all up and now we're about ready to see the finished product here in 10 short minutes. All right, so as the pretzel dogs are cooking, I have about a minute left on the timer. I'm gonna make a super fast dipping sauce and it's gonna be a spicy honey mustard. So I'm gonna start with just a little bit of regular yellow mustard right here in the bowl. Okay, a lot of bit of yellow mustard because mustard is one of the key components of it. I'm also gonna put um, about half that amount of honey in here too. There we go, we want some sweetness added into it. Mm, very sweet. And for the spice, I'm just gonna go right for the big guns and put some sriracha. So you can also adjust the seasoning as to how much you like spicy or not spicy or just a little hint of spice. We gotta like it a little spicy. So that's about a teaspoon of sriracha and I'm just gonna mix this up. Put a tiny little pinch of salt in there and get it really, really, really well mixed. Okay, give it a little taste. That's really good. Timer just went off, now you have to come and see these bad boys. Check this out. Look. Ha ha ha, what did I tell ya? Beautiful, golden, puffy pretzel dogs. There you go, right there. Now, these guys aren't quite done just yet. We still have a couple things left to do to them, and the one is to brush them with melted butter. Look at that. There it is. There we go. Brush them all with a little bit of melted butter just to make them extra special. <laughs> Look at this. Now that is happiness wrapped in dough. Oh my gosh. One more quick little brush there. Any bald spots? Yeah, no, looks like we're good. All right. So we're gonna give it just a little sprinkle of salt. 
Because it is a pretzel, we have to butter it and salt it. There we go. Okay. So, Sam, what do you think? Cheese or no cheese? Cheese. Cheese, perfect. All right. So this guy, we can tell, has cheese. It's coming out of here and it's coming out of here. So we're going to go ahead and pick him up. Look. Look at this on the, on the bottom side. <laughs> oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. All right. Check this out. Oh, come on now. The knife is covered in cheese. Look at that. Ooh. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is a little too hot to eat right now, but it's going to make an awesome, awesome snack for game day, for Sunday, for after school, for any time. Guys, subscribe to the YouTube channel here at Kitchen Bravo for this recipe, simple soft pretzels wrapped in hot dogs. I mean, it's just, it's just too much to talk about, too much to consider when I have this much deliciousness right here in front of my face. Subscribe to the YouTube channel now for more recipes, for more tricks. Drop us a comment, drop us a like, subscribe now, and Kitchen Bravo will be there for you with more inspiration and deliciousness.